I grew up in Iran in the 1970s. I was a young Baha'i, and Baha'is are a persecuted minority in Iran. I remember my mother and sister both being vilified and hated. The impact that had on me was to recognize the injustice of the system. It wasn't that people were born hateful. It was that society was training people to discriminate against them. We can actually train people to be positive members of society. The only question is, how do you do that? When I was a student at Harvard, I was working on simulations as a research tool. What we wanted to do was understand how humans made choices. Whether I was working at McKinsey or co-writing this book around collective action, I've been thinking about this for a long time. In some ways, what High Resolves is doing is inoculating people against hatred and division. And what it's doing is giving them capabilities to build a better future. The one instruction for this game is for you to find your people. The way we have to approach that is through some kind of powerful learning experience where people viscerally understand how their own individual choices create vastly different collective outcomes. Simulations get young people to change how they think about something. But what you have to do is you have to follow it up with lots of additional work in the classroom. They form a much richer understanding of, say, race or collective identity or justice. And that new understanding will shift to long-term memory, which means it's becoming a habit. It's going to be the way they approach the world in the future. America is really polarized right now. High resolves allow our students to be able to have conversations that are difficult. Those interactions really help shape who they are. What High Resolves really left me with is the attitude of you can. You can change the world if you put your mind to it. Put your hands up if you want to put in 100%. I was trying to figure out who I was, what I liked, what I thought was important in society. High Resolves taught me how to approach situations where there's evidence of inequality and that I can, you know, in my own capacity, make a difference. Part of the High Resolves learning process is to take what you've learned in school and apply it in some kind of real world setting. We tried to tackle the issue of youth homelessness. In another world, I could have been in the exact same situation. I wanted them to feel safe and for them to know that, you know, somebody had their backs. I get really excited when I watch the change in the trajectory of a young person's yeah. life. Without High Resolves, I wouldn't have been interested in going into politics, uh, learn how we can shape policy for people who really need it. What makes me hopeful is that I can see the change happen with one person. And then you see it with dozens and hundreds and thousands. We lift the trajectory of people's lives and point them towards what they were meant to do on this planet.